Mercy rules in college football need to get off Come on. my lawn. Mercy, log. Last week, Arkansas took a 49 to nothing lead on Arkansas Pine Bluff at halftime, which led to an agreement by both coaches to shorten the second half to 10 minute quarters rather than 15. Arkansas went on to win 70 to nothing, which was the most lopsided victory in that state since Walmart put Kmart out of business. <laughs> now, I never knew it was a thing to shorten games in the second half. But then two days later, the same thing happened when Auburn beat Alabama A&M 73-3. Y'all, this isn't Little League. This isn't Pop Warner Ball at the local rec league. This is high-level college football. If your opponent is incapable of competing for 60 minutes, then they have no business being scheduled in the first place. I get it. It feels good to win. I know LSU fans right now wish they would start scheduling Hope You Like It High School in week one, but we only get 12 football Saturdays in the fall. And some programs spend 25% of those scheduling teams that can't even give us a full four quarters. This is what happens when programs get to make their own schedules and then are punished in postseason selection due to losses. Can you imagine the Dallas Cowboys just saying, yeah, we're just gonna play the Panthers eight times this year? No. <laughs> <laughs> this is where college football leadership, dare I even utter that phrase, and really conference leadership needs to step up and do the right thing for the sport. Either move these matchups to the spring and make them exhibitions, or create some sort of preseason like the NFL has, or at the very least limit these games to once a season in week one. No one wants to see a 76 to nothing blowout. Not even the fans of that team. And deep down, we all know that's true. And it's especially true when we can't even profit on the slaughter because all the bets are void due to shortened quarters. So everyone involved with mercy rules and mismatch scheduling in high-level college football needs to get off my lawn. Here, here. That is here, so here. true, it David. It is true. It is true. You know, you know what I thought? If you're going to change it to 10-minute quarters, why not just call the game at halftime? Right. Like if that's it's the over. if that's the point, just call it a halftime. But uh, should there be? I think you should have to play the full length of the quarters, like like I really do. But I, I, I'm just to the point where it's it's just so weird. Like we we just got a mercy rule in college baseball too, like in seven innings, like in conference play. Yeah, I believe. I think it was always for non-conference, but in conference play they added a mercy rule, which I'm not a huge fan of that either. Like. This, like you said, it's not Pop Warner. This isn't like, this isn't Little League Baseball. Like, this isn't Chinese Taipei versus whoever Chinese Taipei plays, David. Like, uh, <laughs> Chinese Type B. Chinese. <laughs> That's well done, sir. Uh, no, I, I'm with you. I think it's ridiculous. This is high level college football. If your team sucks that bad, you deserve to get beat 100 to nothing. <laughs> look. And you know what? It's going to make it an even worse look for the team that scheduled you. But at the end of the day, don't, what did Cam Newton say? You don't want me to dance? Don't let me score, David. Mm. If I would have bet one of these games, if I would have bet Auburn to cover, no, I bet the Arkansas and they uh, change Arkansas Pine Bluff. The, the the time for quarters and my bet doesn't count. Yeah. I'm burning everything down. You are what, a dragon. What are we doing? Big shout out Lane Kiffin. Lane Kiffin got asked the question about changing the. He's like, no. It's like, no. I brought these guys here to watch them play. I need to see them play a four quarter game. Yeah. You are getting paid money. All right. Get your ass on the field. This is big boy football. This is what are we doing, Arkansas? I don't care. All right, I don't care. I, I just watched an FCS team. She almost beat Middle Tennessee State last week, mm -hmm. one by three. There's certain teams that I'm fine with, but even as an Auburn fan, I don't want to watch us kill Alabama A&M. I don't think we got better. Do you think Auburn got better? I think they got more confident. Well, I mean, the, a fool's confidence. I mean, you can't be that confident. I want to see the best play the best, okay? But I definitely don't want to see the best play the absolute worst. Well, and that's part of it, too, is, like, there there are a lot of what, like, we use the term group of five now, but it's been one double A in the yeah. past. And all. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of those programs who are even better than some of the teams that are in your own conference. And these games get scheduled far enough in advance. You don't know how a team's going to be or a program's going to be five years out. I get that it's difficult. I'm just saying, Auburn doesn't need to be playing Alabama A&M, man. Mm -hmm. Like, that's not a game that Well, like, you could have scheduled. scheduled that game the day day before, and Auburn's going to drop them by 70. And, you know, some of this stuff, and it's not Hugh Freeze's fault. I think this game was scheduled before he took the job. Uh, but it just, I, 
I, I agree with you both. But like, and, and I put out the five things you can get from playing a cupcake, and there are some things you can get. There's it's really it's mistakes money. that you're fixing, and, and you are giving them money. But here's, a, here's how I think we fix this, and you brought this up. Why don't we play this game for our spring game? Why don't we pay them the money to play us in a spring game? So you know what? We beat them 73 to three. Mm-hmm. Okay, at least we got to go hit somebody else. At least we got to put some stuff on tape against another team with another scheme and another identity. Let's play this one in the spring game. Let's forget the A-Day. Let's stop playing each other. Let's Alabama, you're in state. You're in Montgomery. Just here, drive 40 minutes. Mm-hmm. Preseason? Right south. Like, like, well, it's technically it's in the spring. I don't think it needs to be in fall camp. I think it needs to be the spring game. I would love to see these games in the spring. Like the question is just where do you draw the line? Like does Colorado play North Dakota State in the spring game? Because they're FCS and don't play them game one. I think that's where we got to figure it out. But we want to know what you think. Hey, YouTube, what's up? We know you're loving these videos. You get a chance, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It's an easy thing. It helps out us. It helps out you. Even if you disagree, which is a good thing because dissent moves us forward.